You can get it. You can't get out unless you kill someone. My mind and body were completely entwined by those words. Fear and anxiety seeped into me, spreading until they had taken complete control. I could feel the room's tense atmosphere pressing down menacingly upon my shoulders. Oh, and guys, I just figured out how to get rid of the auto-read. You have to press R1 again. I cannot believe I was missing something that should have been obvious. I was just trying out all the buttons to try to get rid of the auto-read, but uh, I finally figured it out, so no big deal. It was all I could do to bear the weight of it. Chapter 1. Kill free or live hard. Everyday life. Yeah, this is this is exactly how I picture my everyday life. That ominous air was shattered by the blunt force of her words. Surete. So, what are you going to do now? Ne. Were you just going to stand here, staring at each other? The harsh bite of her words was directed at everyone in the room. And like a cold shower, those words yanked us all back into reality. <laughs> Ah, yes, of course! There are times where we must push forward, no matter how frightening or uncomfortable the situation may be. How could I just have forgotten something so fundamental? I'm deeply ashamed. Would someone be so kind as to hit me? I cannot forgive myself. Hit me, I beg of you. Okay. Huh? If you got enough energy to make all that goddamn noise, how about you move your ass instead? Ah, uh, what? Specifically is our quest master. Her, we gonna look out for a way out of here? <laughs> While we're at it, let's find what it, whoever's driving that weird ass teddy bear, bear and beat the crap out of him. Or her. But first, shouldn't we check out our electro IDs? I think it'd be best if or, uh, that's still Chiro talking. I think it'd be best if we took if we looked over the rules Monokuma mentioned for moving around too much. Yes, and there are plenty of them. Ah uh, yes, we wouldn't want our ignorance to invite another spectacle like the one we just witnessed. <laughs> then like let's do this! Oh my god! Yeah, I remember in the uh PS Vita version, it was just called student IDs. I don't know why they just like electro ID here. I mean, it's an inconsequential difference, but still want, still noticeable. I powered up my electro ID, and the first thing that appeared was my name. Looks like Monokuma was telling the truth about that. From the menu that displayed the, that displayed next, I pressed the button labeled School Rules. Students are to live out their lives together, except, and there on the screen appeared a, a bulletproof list. Of the, of the regulations we were expected to follow. Students are to live out their lives together exclusively within the academy, indefinitely. 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. is designated is designated nighttime. Be aware of that. Be aware that certain areas are off limits during this time. Sleep is permitted in dorm rooms. Deliberate use of any other room will be treated as sleeping in class. You may investigate Kir Kibugamine Academy freely. No limitations have been placed on your actions. Violence against the headmaster, Monokuma, is prohibit is forbidden or prohibited, whatever. As is destruction of surveillance cameras. The villain who kills one of his companions will be will graduate, provided his crime is not betrayed. Additional rules may be appended uh, to the list if deemed necessary. Oh, that seems totally fair. Starting to feel a little vertigo, I turned my head away from the screen. I glanced around the room and saw the same sullen expression on everyone's faces. The fuck is this shit? Like I'm gonna let myself be pushed around by some dumbass rules. Yeah, man, I'm a rebel. Then why don't you just continue on your merry way and pretend like the rules don't exist? I personally am rather curious to know what the penalty is for violating. What? What? Where to do that? Master Mondo Iwata would have no extra lives remaining. Oh. Or I guess Bordy could do that. When I was still a twerp, my big bro always used to get on my case. About how a man keeps his promises, even in death. Yeah. So? Yeah. I've still got promises I ain't done keeping. Yeah. So there ain't a chance in hell I'm dying now. <sighs> I can't say I understand, but either way, we can take them that to mean you'll be following the rules instead. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hello? Guys, um, I have a question. 
Rule number six here. What do you think it means? The villain who kills one of his companions will graduate provided his crime is not the trick. You mean the part that says provided his crime is not betrayed to the other students? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. <laughs> if you want to graduate, you just have to kill in such a way that nobody finds out, out it was you. <laughs> what? what? Why? <laughs> Don't concern yourself with the why. Just follow the rules you've been given. That's all you need to know. <laughs> People who need their hands held to accomplish anything will have no right to ask questions. <laughs> Such poignant words. You mean, pointed? Mm. Anyway, enough with all this stupid murder stuff. Yes. We know the rules, so we can start looking around now. Mm. Where exactly are we? Is there any way out? Do we have provisions and supplies? The There's a mountain of questions I need in need of answering. Oh well, yeah, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> I'm going alone. Huh? Say what? Is there something wrong with your head? Like seriously, why would you do that? <laughs> Someone in this room is probably already plotting the way out their way out of here. And you expect me to let any of you get anywhere near me? The glorious Byakuya Chogami. Uh, you peasants. Wait, nobody here? None. You can't be so sure of that. Nor are you. Just look at how scared you all were when Monokuma explained graduation. <laughs> or was that something else? Uh, um, uh... <laughs> I am going to do what I want to do. Ah, uh, quit your bitching. You ain't going anywhere. None. Be gone, Plankton. <laughs> oh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you are but one individual Plankton, drifting through a vast ocean. The ocean that is Byaku Yatogami. Try as you might, you're not but the tiniest, most inconsequential of existences. Only my existence <laughs> is the one that matters. Sounds like someone wants his teeth kicked in. Stop it, guys, please. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. Well, aren't you just a little sweet talker? You think you're some kind of teacher? You trying to preach at me? No, I just... Then shut your trap! Bam! Oh, damn. Did we get hit? Yeah, he hit me. <laughs> and I flew. It was like a scene straight out of a cartoon. Without warning or foreshadowing, completely out of the blue. He hit me, and I flew. I guess it must have slipped my mind the kind of people I was dealing with. Super duper high schoolers. Around whom my brand of common sense has no weight. Not a sil not a sliver of meat. Of course, something ridiculous was going to happen. I guess it just slipped my mind. My consciousness slowly drifted away. And then it vanished. When I woke up, I was... Nick... What? Where am I? It seemed to be- I seem to be making a habit out of waking up in unfamiliar rooms. Unfamiliar ceiling. Uh, anyway, where exactly am I? That's what I want to know. You now have access to your Electro ID, which contains a wide variety of information. Oh, it doesn't know. You can open your Electro ID by pressing, by pressing the triangle- or not, not the triangle, the square button. From there, you can view the school rules or report cards, profiles for all the students. Some menus, like map and ammunition, are only accessible under certain, cer certain circumstances. You can also save and load the game from the system menu. Additionally, you can press the select button for quick access to the game's backlog. Right. Everything anyone says is recorded in the backlog, should you ever need to reread something. I don't usually... I didn't really have to when I played the Vita version of this game. So we have our map, ammunition... Uh, and this comes in handy during the uh, class trials. Uh, you guys will find out what those are in later videos. Presence, inspe inspect your personal effects. Mm -hmm. I think we got one last video that I did not... I did not bother to... Um, I, I didn't show accidentally. Uh, the school insignia pin. Your award for completing the prologue. It's a small pin in the shape of the Kiru Kibugamine Academy school insignia. Mm -hmm. And we have also, well, we also have the report card, where's that? Okay, so it's just like a bio of each student, so Makoto Naegi. Uh, just basic information, we already know about some of these people, but not really much else. We, we get to learn more about the, uh, each student as we go through the game. We learn more about them as we talk to them. So right now, it just really doesn't have anything. 
And we're pretty much locked inside our room. This looks like the shower. Rattle right around. Huh? It won't open. I guess it's locked? Great, we're locked out of the bathroom. That could pose a problem. This is a lint roller? Cleaning's on me, it seems. Oh, it looks like we have a key. This is the room key. It's got my name on the keychain. M. Naigi. So I guess that makes it mine. Anyway, I'll be taking that. I will be taking your key, sir. And I guess it's a trash can. It's just a regular old trash can. No trap doors or hidden compartments here. I don't know if I'd be so sure of that. There might be a trap door inside that trash can. Better be careful. There's something in the drawer. It's a tool set. It's brand new. The plastic seal appears unbroken. Well, either way, I'm going to use it now, so I'll put it back. Or I'm not going to use it now. It's a notepad. This came with the room, didn't it? Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It's a bed. There doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary here. Uh, I don't know, Makoto. There's a TV screen here. Ugh. I hate TV screens. A security camera. I shudder to think we're being watched by these things. It's irritating, but the rules say we're not allowed to break the camera, so there's nothing I can do. Well, that would be really weird just to have somebody watching 24-7. And we can st we still can't get out of here. Pretty sure we've observed just about everything. Uh, well, maybe, I guess, the windows. It looks like iron plates have been rigged to the walls. Okay. I'm not really sure... What, what else am I missing here? What the hell is that? A sheet of paper has been stuck to the wall. It says, An important message from your headmaster, Monokuma. Room locks have been equipped with, the, with an anti-picking mechanism. The keys are a bit of a pain to make, so please don't lose yours. Every room comes with a shower, but be aware, water is shut off during the nighttime. Only the showers in the girls' room are equipped with a lock. Lastly, I have prepared a modest gift for each of you. A ladylike sewing kit is for my female students. And a masculine tool set is for my male students. The sewing kits include a pressure point diagram. A single thrust is all it takes, ladies. For the men, I recommend a solid swing to the top of the head. Well, how nice of Monokuma to tell us that. Don't think, don't think, feel. And let's all have a killer time. Ha <laughs> puns. I crumpled the paper up and tossed it into the trash can. I think I've got my bearings. I'm pretty sure this is... Sleep is permitted in uh, sleep is permitted in dorm rooms. Deliberate use of any other room will be treated as sleeping in class. So don't faint anywhere. This is one of the bedrooms in the dormitory area. Someone probably carried me here after I lost consciousness. Well, that answers my first question. Now, what's everyone else doing? There's only one way to find out. By leaving the room. Oh, finally, we can get the fuck out of here. Leave the room? Yep. I'm gonna do that. Wander around aimlessly around the school. I stepped out of my room to look for everyone else. And waiting for me on the other side of the door was a situation you might like you might see in an old manga. Thud. <laughs> oh, we get any panty shots? God damn it. Oh, look at who it is. This fucking psycho again. I accidentally skipped that one. Text. Sorry about that. S sorry, are you okay? No, it was my fault. I'm so sorry. A slightly embarrassed smile rose to her face, and she slowly brought herself to her feet. Are you sure you're alright, Mizuno? You're not hurt, are you? <laughs> you're being melodramatic. A little bump like that's no big deal. I may not look like it, but I'm actually pretty... Oh, sorry, there you go. I may not look like it, but I'm actually pretty tough. It's all that dancing around I do on stage. That's a relief. But more importantly, what about you, Nike? Does it still hurt? Um, where I want to hit you? Oh, yeah, right. I got knocked out in front of everyone. Yeah, you went fucking flying. How the hell does that not still hurt? Day one, and everybody already knows how much of a loser I am. Yep. Nike? Uh, I'm fine. It's nothing. That's good to hear. I was worried about you. Thanks. By the way, what brings you here, Mizuno? I came to check up on you. Check up on me? 
Well, you see, if you're feeling better, I was wondering if you would join me in the cafeteria. The cafeteria? After you got knocked out, the rest of us decided to split up and look around. We thought we could cover more ground individually. And we agreed to meet up later and share what we found. So, it's almost time for that? Well, in that case, I guess I'll go. Or, of course, I'll go. Wonderful, I'll meet you there, then. She obviously wants the D. It's pretty obvious. Oh, look, we have all our individual dorms. Ishimaru? Kirigiri? Uh, it's weird, because it, I noticed also that in this version just has the last name instead of the first name. I guess just, just since it's uh, Japanese, it just has... Since uh, names are inverted, so they just, you know, would obviously, I guess, put the last name there. Naegi? Uh, Awada, so those are just all the different dorms. That's pretty cool. And there's Sakura's room. Let's stay away from that. Mada, that's the otaku. It's his room. And there's the trash room. Let's can we go in the trash room. I should go to this cafeteria. Everyone's... Oh, fuck that. Let me go to the cafeteria. Fuck the cafeteria. School cafeterias suck, and their food sucks, too. Keep out. Uh, no. Let's just kick school in. Rattle, rattle, rattle. It won't open. Looks like it's locked. Well, that sucks. Why is our gate here? The staircase, but the shutters have been lowered. With the with these here, you can't go up. Sort of defeats the purpose of having stairs. Ah, uh, well, there is a reason for that. You unlock these areas later. Pretty sure everybody has already at least assumed that from seeing the the gates lowered there. Oh well, it seems it's like uh, the only one here. So this is the cafeteria. I'm glad to see that it's well kept. But this isn't the time for that. We are still trapped here, after all. Yeah, you're right. As far as I can tell, nobody else has arrived yet. Nobody cares. So I guess we wait. You're right, we just have to wait. Whoa, you heard that? Of course, I'm an esper. I'm kidding. I just had a feeling, that's all. Is that really just a feeling? Nope, she can read our minds. Pardon the interruption, but it's time to begin for a tutorial. Oh. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the React system. More tutorials, yeah, I, I just love tutorials. You were planning to initiate a conversation with Miss Saika Maizo, Maizo, were you not? When you talk to her, you are going to see a couple of purple phrases like this one. When these purple phrases appear, press the triangle button to enter React mode. Select the phrase using your D-pad and then press the X button. To inquire for further information, this is, this is the essence of the React system, reacting to things your partner says. Please enjoy your new life in the academy. It seems you are quick, to, you are quick study, wonderfully done. Skilled use of this technique will allow you to progress in your relationships. I mean, the store. Yeah, sure. So we're gonna get late, I guess. Well, let's, uh, let's see how much he wants to be. By the way, Nai- er, yeah. By the way, Naegi. Yes? Um, well, um... Picking up where our instructions left off. I guess, oh, shit. Well, hold on, we had to use the React, and I was stupid enough not to do it. I accidentally hit the X there. So where are instructions left off? Where are instructions left off? Or introduction, in, ah, I said instruction, introduction. Oh, God. We were interrupted back there, and I'm still having something I want to ask you. And I still have something I want to ask you. So I can Mizuno had a question. I wonder what it could be. Well, let's find out by doing the React bullshit again. What was the point of even of even hitting this one? We should have, I guess, we should have just done the second one. I don't know why we have, we even did the first one. Uh, what is it? Are you by any chance a sixer? A sixer? Necro sixth junior high class? Junior high class two? Y yeah, I was. I knew it! I went to Necro 6 too. I was in class 4, though, did you know? How couldn't I? Even in middle school, she was super, super duper famous. I couldn't possibly not have known her. Though, the thing that surprises me most is that she remembers me. We weren't in the same class, and we never really talked to each other. Is something the matter? No, I was just surprised. I didn't think you'd remember me. Of course I remember you. We went to the same middle school, didn't we? But a ton of people went to your uh, But a ton of people went through our middle school. And there's nothing all that noteworthy about me. The most average of the average, ordinary to a cliche degree, a fan of most anything ranked number one. Oh, you. Were you what are you talking about? You're so silly, Naegi. 
Wh what? How am I silly? <laughs> she let out a cheerful girlish laugh. Her smile was mysteriously comforting. I couldn't come up with any way to describe it other than amazing. It's so nice to find out there's someone here I know. Somehow just talking to you, Nayagi, cheered me right up. You're wonderful. Nah, I'm nothing special compared to all you super duper high schoolers. But you're the one who cheered me up, gave me courage, not anyone else. Th thanks, when you put it like that. Alright, as thanks for sharing your strength, that'll be your super duper high school sidekick. Huh? Sidekick? I'll be your sidekick, Maggie. I'll do whatever I can to help, so let's make it out of here together. Hearing my no say that. Makes me feel like I can do anything! Yeah. Which is all fine and well, but what's taking everyone so long? Actually, first of all, what time is it? There should be a clock around here somewhere. Yeah, like right in front of you? Oh, let's see. Oh, where's the clock? Where's the clock? I don't know. Huh. Let's see. The current time is... What? It's 7 at night? You were out for a really long time, Naegi. She isn't kidding. Without any words, I don't really have a sense of the time. If we're stuck like this, I'll probably go mad. Or if we're stuck like this forever. Everyone sure is taking their time, huh? They should be here soon, I hope. And no sooner than she'd said so, the doors to the cafeteria swung open. It isn't Naegi and Maizno. So two of you, or the two of you were at the head of the pack, huh? And here I thought I was first. What a disgrace. It just goes to show that I'm not trying hard enough. But I won't give in. Next time my victory is assured, justice will prevail. Or justice always prevails. Aw, oh, it's not that big of a deal. And not long after that, one after another, the remaining students gathered in the cafeteria. And just a few minutes, or after just a few minutes, everyone had finally arrived. Time to talk to each one of them again, I guess. Yes. Not. Excellent, it looks like everyone's arrived. I moved to commence an assembly, post haste. Such that we can together make known unto the fruits of our investigation and escape this place as quickly as possible. Just a second. What is it? Um, what was her name? That silver haired chick. Ah, right. Kyoko Kirigiri. What about her? She's not here. What? I spun around to look. There, I spun to look around the cafeteria. Like she said, Kiragiri was nowhere to be found. Where do you think she is? Has anyone seen her? Everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Nobody's seen her anywhere. Could the reason she's not? Could the reason she's not here be because? Beating, stabbing, pounding, cutting, burning, crushing, strangling, slaughtering, hexing. The math doesn't matter. What's really important is that you can't get out of here unless you kill someone. Do whatever it takes to obtain the best results from the worst method. No way. It couldn't. No, I'm worrying too much. That's all. Kirigiri, you insolent! Late on the first day? Being late on being late is one thing, but to not inform me in advance is to shirk your duty as late as a latecomer. You know, what you're saying is, like, ridiculous, don't you? Regardless, time is of the essence. What's done is done. I hereby declare the first regular Kibugamine Academy Inform Informational Assembly open. Hey, Naegi, to start, since everyone split up to look around, we should see what they have to say. Right, sounds good. <laughs> it, ki it is kind of. Or, or, what's up? Just then... Didn't it feel like I was really your sidekick? I'm not a very dependable sidekick, but I'll do my best for you. Nah, I think I could have a more dependable I don't think you're- Oh yeah, I could totally have a more dependable sidekick. I don't think I could have a more dependable sidekick than you, Mizuno. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, time to talk to everybody here, I guess. See what they- see what they know. Or maybe not. Well, we can't talk to- We can't- can't talk to the Fumi. Or- Wow, okay, I guess the only one we can talk to is Saika. I thought we were I thought we'd be able to talk to everybody, I guess not yet. Since you missed out, I'll explain things for you. We all split up into groups to investigate the school. Togumi and Ishimaru went off by themselves. Oh yeah, and Kirigiri did too. Well, let's ask about Togum. I went looking for clues as to who might be behind all this. I found nothing. That is all. Th that's all? 
Had I found anything, I would have informed you. Probably not, though. Oh. Of course. Understood. I guess let's ask about Ishimaru now. What did he find? Probably nothing. I investigated the dormitory area. And there, I made the discovery of the century. There is a room for each and every one of us. I already knew that. That was the first thing I checked out. There's a nameplate attached to each of the doors, saying whose room it is. Shuru hmm. even so kind as to provide us with keys with name tags. Which means, as I thought, the room I was just in was mine. Our rooms look like they're totally soundproof, too. Me and Fujisaki tested it out. Even screaming at the top of your lungs. You can't hear anything in the other than in the room next door. And they come with wonderfully clean shower. A uh, wonderfully clean shower. There's even a lock on the shower door. Well, that's pretty overly secure, but okay. Supposedly, that's only for the girls, though. Hmm. I'm pretty sure my shower was locked when I checked it out. Strange. I should look at that again later. Anyway, the hell do they think they're doing acting like we're actually gonna stay here? It's I'd rather have a room than not. This way, we need not worry about fending for ourselves. <sighs> so, so, is that all you have to share? Doesn't seem likely, Mr. Honor student. I finished my report. Who's next? Oh, uh, well, I guess we have to go through each one of these, these guys' reports. Let's see what they have to say. I know this. Uh, let's... Oh, Kawada, Hagukure, Inushima, and Fujisai. Well, at least we're covering all those in one, at once. We checked out the iron plates on the windows in the halls and classrooms. We figured one of them might, like, come loose or something. But... Game over, man! Game over! None of the damn things bust... Things budge even an inch! Well, I have no idea what that could be a reference to, Leon. There's no way out. We really are trapped in here. This sucks. This sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this seriously sucks. Like, what do we even do? Hey, hey, chill, you're freaking me out. Anything else you want to tell me, Saika? Yeah, went over what they had to say. Oh, God. Well, why not? We looked around the school zone, thinking there might be some way to communicate with the outside. But we didn't find anything. Sorry. After that, we went back to the entrance hall. Wanted to see if there was any way past that metal door. Me and Ogami together couldn't make a goddamn dent. We threw desks and chairs, but nothing. Things tough, man, like iron. That would be so this Anyway, yeah, doesn't look like we'll be busting that thing down head on. I feel like I could cry, but I'll be strong. Can't waste water in a situation like this. No, we'll continue the reports. Though it has not to do contracting the outside, I did find something of slight interest. There are staircases leading up in both the dormitory and the school zone. But there are shutters in the way, so we can't go up. Shouldn't we find a switch or any- we couldn't find a switch or anything either. At this point in time, it appears as though we are only permanent- permitted to explore the building's first floor. Regardless, there remains the possibility of further floors existing above the now inaccessible second. And thus the possibility of there being a way out. Yeah, yeah. I know this. Celeste, Fukawa, and Yam. Let's go. Eh? To be quite honest, we didn't so much work together. As we did... As as we did nothing together, we were in the gymnasium the entire time. Sitting so around the building, searching for red, for red breadcrumbs just isn't me. What the hell were you guys thinking? Seriously, like, you did nothing? Nobody thought to invite me. Nobody came up to me and said, Let's go. It's not right. Making a pariah out of me, you can't do that. What's your problem? You wanted to come along. If you wanted to come along, you should have, like, said something. <laughs> I take that back. Who would be want to be around such a dirty whore? Uh-oh. Dirty whore? Women like you with your empty heads and cheap bodies make me physically ill. It surprises me. No, it blows my mind that you can talk about crap, that you can talk so much crap about someone you just met. Mama. Let's talk out this out peacefully, dudettes. Getting so worked up is bad for your skin, Kay. Really? Yes. That's right. Are you guys really such good friends that you can, that you can fight like that? 
I don't think that's what this is. Yeah, Saika seems a little, uh, a little bit slow. We've heard what everyone has to say. The only one who hasn't given a report yet is me. Yep, alright, well, let's see what you have to report, Saika. I investigated the cafeteria. There's a kitchen in the back, and the refrigerator there is packed full of food. It doesn't seem like we'll have to worry about getting hungry, at least. As bountiful the spy may be, it will only last but a few days with 15 of us. Y you can just eat seeds. Hey, be I bird folk? There's no need to worry, the fridge automatically restocks every day. Never heard of a fridge like that. Or so Monokuma says. You saw him? He appeared while I was inspecting the fridge, said that, and then ran off again. And he does like to randomly appear and then, uh, and then run away again. That's what it, that's, that's his way of doing things, I suppose. It happened too fast for me to believe. He's really radio controlled. Teleporting weaponized ninja tank there? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be scary or silly. Maybe both. You are right, though, right? He didn't, like, try to eat you or anything. E? Uh, hey, hey, what do you mean by that? What do you mean, did he try to eat her? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, eat her. Oh. <laughs> Cut it out. Watch it, Lardo. You're creeping way too hard. What are you, a drunken sleazebag or something? Probably his future drunken sleazebag. Is anyone not a sleazebag when they're drunk, dude? Hey there, what's going on? around, you guys? Are you even paying attention? We've been in prison and we could be killed at any time. This chip's right. This ain't the time to be fucking around. We seriously gotta do something. The next thing we knew, a voice rose up above the crowd, cutting off him off mid-sentence. You all sound like you're enjoying yourselves. Are you just that confident, or have you yet to accept the truth of our situation? What took you so long, Kirigiri? We've begun we've already begun our assembly. She responded by wordlessly tossing a single sheet of paper onto the table. Huh? What's this? A map of Kibugamine Academy. A map? Wait, what? Where did you get this? Sir? Does it really matter? Of course it does! A response like that only makes me all the more curious! More importantly, like, what's it give us? Based on this, it appears that the building we're in is of the exact same design as Kibugamine Academy. So this is the real Kibugamine Academy? So, Structurally, at least. Though, a number of unusual modifications appear to have taken place. Modifications? Then, I was only able to get my hands on the map of the first floor, so I don't know the details. It, so, uh, this really is Kibugamine Academy? And we weren't taken somewhere else? Uh, Bullshit! You're saying this is- this- You're saying this is the school that fosters a leech for the country's future? Then, but guys, if this really is Kibugamine Academy, why are there any why aren't there any other students here? Hey. Oh come on, dudes! Enough with all the grim dark talk. You're not concerned, Hagakure, about all of this? Oh, concerned? What's there to be concerned about, dude? This is just more scare tactics put on by the guys upstairs, right? <laughs> if you're always letting stuff like this get to you, you'll start puking ectoplasm, dude. True as truth. Good things come to those who wait, so we just have to wait for the show to end. <laughs> what are you <laughs> laughing about? I'm just happy to know we have some good came of splitting up and investigating the building. <sighs> are you even listening? In what universe does that constant does that constitute as investigation? Well, we did find a map. Nobody found a way out. Nobody knows who did this to us. <laughs> and our investigation is what told us that. <laughs> It is told that it is an unimpeachable truth that we are trapped in this sealed building with no means of escape. We could do nothing but sit in silence at our words. Reality was staring us in the eyes, but we kept trying to look away. <laughs> Remind me. But what are we supposed to do? We're trapped in here with no way out. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> if you want to leave, kill someone. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. Oh, no. Guys, take it easy, please. We need to figure out what we're going to do, but we need to be calm about it. None. Anyone got any bright ideas? <laughs> adapt. Simply adapt to life here. So you want us to just give up hope and accept that we're stuck here? The inability to adapt is the inability to survive. It is not the strong who clever or the clever who survive. It's those who are capable of change. And with that out of out on the table, I have a proposal for everyone. 
proposal? Hmm. We're trapped here, which means we must not only spend our days here, but also our nights. I'm sure everyone remembers the rules concerning nighttime, yes? The period uh, or 10 a.m. to 7 a.m. is delegated is is designated nighttime. Be aware that certain areas are off limits during the during this time. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if we stayed here past nighttime. Would we just be like attacked or something? Sleep is permitted in dorm rooms. Deliberate use of any other of any other room will be treated as sleeping in class. I suggest we impose another nighttime rule. Another rule? You are forbidden from leaving your room during the nighttime. The school rules themselves do not enforce a curfew, but I do believe it would be prudent. Huh? Why is that? In our current situation, we are just destined to spend our nights here cowering in fear. Never be able to dispel the thought that someone might be coming to kill you. What? <laughs> We're all just, we'll all just waste away here, jumping at every bump in the night. Not of hope. And this curfew will prevent that from happening. <laughs> Unlike the regular school rules, this is not enforceable. It would require everyone's cooperation. <laughs> Still, I think I'm in. Like the, like the goth chick said, if we don't establish our own rules, we're just gonna bring each other down. As the boys' representative, I have no objections. Huh? Who put you in charge? Everyone's in favor then? Wonderful. In that case, I shall, I shall make my departure. Uh, uh, where are you going? Uh, it will soon be nighttime. I thought I might take a shower before then. Okay, Pleasant yeah. dreams. With an elegance, with elegance to her, with an elegance to her gait, Celeste left the cafeteria. So natural was her motion that no one even thought to step in and stop her. She, she's impressively calm and businesslike. Not a qualm about sleeping in a place like this. Hmm. Adaptability. Hmm. What now, Chairman? One person's already bailed on us. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Very well. That should suffice for today's assembly. Night time is nigh upon us. We must prepare ourselves for another day. Do we really have to sleep here? What other choice do we have? We'll just, like, wear ourselves out if we don't sleep. The only thing we can do today is call it quits. <sighs> we may have made it through one day, but what about t t tomorrow? Yeah. Our only option is to continue what we start today. Should a new discovery be made, we can re reconvene. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh. Then let's call it a night. I'm pretty tired, too. And then everyone began the slow trudge toward their first night within the Academy walls. Nagi, we better get going too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd totally be able to get some sleep in a place like this. I'd be afraid somebody would come murder me in my sleep or something, or either that or Monokuma would come and kill me somehow. I don't know. I would just be paranoid as fuck. I'd be like, no, can't sleep. Must must find my my uh my fucking murder weapon and just just hide near the bed in case somebody comes for me, or just hide under the bed. Am I really gonna sleep in this room? Oh yeah, before I go to bed, I need to check the shower again. Only the girls' rooms were supposed to have locks, right? Probably not. Oh, well, it doesn't even matter. He said we can't take a shower at nighttime. All right, let's open the door. Let's open her up. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Kick the door down, Makoto. Kick it down. No good. I guess it really is. <laughs> it's not locked. Ah! You're overreacting. It's like you've seen somebody's ghost. In this situation, what I'm saying, it's like you've never you've seen some bear's ghost. Be more accurate. God. W what do you want? I'm here to spout terrible bear puns to you. Makoto Nagi is an abomination. A bomb. A nation. Conflagration. Obliteration. Actually, as it turns out, the door to your shower is just misaligned. So the door won't open, not because it's locked, but because it's not aligned right? I know Did you not read my informational message? Do you not know how to read? Boys don't get locks for their showers. Besides, even if you had a lock, it wouldn't do you any good. Well, it might do you some good, but I'm not really up to speed on that kind of stuff. Anyway, there's a secret to opening that misaligned door of yours. I came here to tell you that. You ready? Pull on the, up on the knob as you twist, and then try to open the door. Give her a go! Pull up on the knob as I twist. I did as he said, and was able to open, then close the door without any trouble. It opened! 
but isn't it kind of funny? You got the only door that wasn't aligned properly. Aren't you supposed to be the super duper high school luckster? Now that's what I call irony. Alright, now I'm gonna leave all this abrupt life. This bear is going to bear some things that need some, er, some things, really things, things that need doing. But hey, hold on. Too late. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm pretty sure he never said dang it in the, uh, in Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh -huh. May I have your attention, please? The time is now 10 p.m. Night time is now in effect. The cafeteria is now off limits and the door will be locked momentarily. And with that, I wish you all good night, sweet dreams. Pretty sure nobody's gonna sleep. It's night time now. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms. Which means all I've got to, left to do today is wind down and get some sleep. Muttering to myself, I collapsed onto my bed and closed my eyes. I wasn't so much sleepy as I was extraordinarily worn out. Worn out like I'd been made to watch movies non-stop all day long. Fooling my mind into believing that I'd been hurled into a world of fiction. That's perfectly natural. No one could just up and accept they'd been thrown into a situation like this. And thus, the curtain fell on my first day at, Kibuga at Kibugamine Academy. If I fall asleep here, I'm not going to wake up and find out that it was that it was all a dream, am I? As the plot twist, as a plot twist, that's pretty terrible. But wouldn't that be amazing? That would be the best possible end. That would kind of suck, actually. Mr. Monokuma finished with his preparations, looking rather pleasant. When I think of the days to come, the days were. The days we are all st starting here today, I'm filled with pride and joy. For putting on such a wonderful ceremony for us, the new students, I give my deepest gratitude that we might stand together with honor as students at Kibugamine Academy. Aiming to achieve new individual ideals, we're bound to live our lives to their fullest, one day at a time. <laughs>